And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to select out this box area, go to generate fill, and I'm going to say change bricks to painted white. And again, this is using Nano Banana, and we'll also do a comparison to context in just a moment. And there you go. It did a fantastic job, but if you pay attention, there's a little bit of distortion. That's that pixel shift I was talking about. So it's kind of a bummer that this is happening because it kind of makes it unusable in a way. So this is what I found. If you pay attention over here, you can actually keep track of all your variation history and change models. So if I go here, I can just do this, switch to Flux Context Pro. I can do the same thing here, comes out to the same thing. And if I hit generate, and I'll just show you this, I'm gonna turn that off so it's not using that image. It's going to look at this and use another model. And let's see how this does. I'll turn this back on and you could see it did a pretty phenomenal job, except it did tint the image slightly. So if you can't see that, let me do a little zoom. Pay attention to this corner. See how it's tinting it? So it's not 100% perfect, but you don't need to deal with that silly pixel shift thing. In my opinion, Flux Context Pro is nearly as good as Nano Banana. I think generally Nano is probably a little bit better if you're using it through Google AI Studio. 